What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am riding along with my husband. We're gonna be in like downtown Tampa area. We're gonna deliver together. Um, honestly, like from last week it's been so slow in the mornings. It is almost nine o'clock and we're gonna get started when he comes out of his appointment. So mornings have been kind of slow, so uh, we're just gonna ride together, you know, save some gas. And I have Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. Um, if I can get on DoorDash, I'm not scheduled, so we'll see if I can dash now. And then he has Uber Eats and DoorDash. He's still um, on the wait list for Grubhub, so I'm kind of gonna be showing him how to use DoorDash and Grubhub today, maybe. So come delivering with us, and let's see if anything crazy happens, see how much I make. At the end of the video, I'll go over all of the earnings and how long, you know, it took us. Um, and then later on this evening, I'm gonna go back out in Brandon just by myself, and I'm gonna finish out the day. So if you're excited about that, give this video a thumbs up. Maybe hit the subscribe button and let's make some money. Get my hot bag. Oh, that was my phone. So we started driving and he just got an order at Chick-fil-A. He ran inside to pick it up. It was $8 for three miles. And then I'm on mine too, but like, you know, we're, we're going to do it smart. But we're going to use, you know, all the apps. I already declined a good order, but we weren't even at Chick-fil-A yet. So my multi-apping, dirty apping um, process is if we're like a mile away from the customer and then I get an order on the other app, then I could, you know, determine if it's a good order. Two miles. Got it. Yeah. Two, mile, two miles away? Yeah. All right. 2.3 actually. Two miles away. Close. Come inside, leasing office. All right, it was a little bit hard to find because let me show you without showing you anything, I guess. The map is, hello. The map is like, it doesn't show you any streets. It's just white and then the blue line, which I mean, it's kind of hard, so you don't know like how many streets before your turn, and then it just has the red square where, you know, you gotta find it yourself pretty much. But we went, we drove around a building over there. Hello? $8 for six miles. So if that was good, I would accept it, but nah. All right, we came to Starbucks to get him some coffee, and we've been sitting here a little bit um, five dollars for 0.6 miles, so we're gonna accept this. Oh, it's at Duncan right across the street. So we're gonna accept this and hopefully, you know, they start rolling in. Can you walk across? And I'll uh, work my way over to you. Yeah. Literally right there. Yep. Why you put it off to the side? I've noticed you do that in a lot of your videos. I don't know. You always put it what off. What if they, I don't know, because... I really didn't look if it opened outwards. I could tell it opened inwards now. Yeah, it opened inwards. I always put it to the side. I know, I've noticed that. But I've noticed I've been doing what you've been doing. I, when I take the picture, I try to get the address. Yeah, I took so, the picture. So they then... can't, like, he didn't drop the food off. Like, go look at the picture. It shows the address in front of the yeah. door. Yeah. Uh, that's why I, I pushed retake and I stood back because the number's right there. Yeah. And, well, I'm going to be a little more careful now since I got that contract violation on DoorDash, which is actually probably going to be my next video talking about it. Yeah, so. you... Bro, $14.55 for three miles. It's two restaurant pickups. We've waited so long for an order, declining really bad orders. They are both at Chipotle. So their system just went down and she said it's going to be like a 10 minute wait but there's like 10 uber drivers just like flocking at the door and they're not even letting us in i don't know if y'all could see but there's like a lot of people over there and a lot of drivers like keep walking up and then just leaving getting out of their order i'm like that's a three dollar order that's a four dollar order but i'm gonna wait because it's 
$14. If it wasn't a $14 order, I would not be standing here for 10 minutes. No. I messaged both of them saying that their um, system she, went she's down. She's coming up. She's coming up. You say, bring me that, Serena. I got one. Put it in the bag. But the weird thing is, you know how like the first order would be dark blue and then the second order it would show you like a light blue line, but it's just not, it doesn't have a light blue line. So that makes me think they're both at the same place. All right, I dropped off the first one and the second one is in the same building, but you need like a code, you need like a key card just to get in the elevator. Like, now I gotta figure out how to get to this one. All right. A guy just came in and used his key card to uh, take me to the 15th floor. This is crazy. So you need someone's key card every time you get in the elevator. So the first one was on one floor, delivered. Um, I needed uh, the receptionist let me use her key and then the second one to get back into the elevator you need a key card and so somebody was coming out and he's like where are you going so he swiped his key card for me to come out like I mean I was already in there so I'm glad they're both in the same building but yeah, that's awesome. oh my god yeah. that was a nightmare eight dollars for two miles at I'll just that. At a different Chipotle. Mine's going off too. Yours is two dollars. It's a different Chipotle than the one I just picked out from. Yeah, there was like eight orders on their rack, and oh, wow. yeah, it was already ready. I'm so surprised. Okay, it looks like we're going to Falkenberg Jail, so it's probably for a cop. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I am one of those people who like, if I'm getting pulled over, like it's just running through my head, like what did I do? Was I speeding? Do I have a gun in here somewhere? Is there drugs on me? Like, so today it's the next day from, you know, the morning you just watched. I, uh, I didn't go back out last night. So I figured I would just put the two mornings together. I mean, you know, make, make it worth your while for clicking on it but um we made $65 between all four of our apps yesterday um I stopped recording and we got two more orders my battery died and I I was in his truck so like I didn't have my extra batteries my extra X SD cards like I got in my car so I didn't film the last two orders, but we made $65 in four hours. So, you know, you, you could do the math. I'm doing, you know, you know the drill. Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub. I just got my first DoorDash order. Um, a little, a little Chick-fil-A action. Um, the funny thing is, my husband also had a DoorDash order same Chick-fil-A, so we walked in together, confirm, pick up. This is 650. It was like three miles, I think. His was seven for two miles, and, and I'm like, I was so Boulevard. upset. Turn right onto East Brandon Boulevard. Um, all right, so 2.8 miles. Let's go drop off our first order. While I do that, please give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and let's go make some money. I was gonna show you that it was um, 7.50 and then another order came in, but it wasn't a good one, so. All right, I got my next order on DoorDash. I forgot to take a screenshot or show you, for one and a half miles. but it was 9.75. I got the order. Um, it was already ready when I walked in. Um, another guy was picking up food and he recognized me, so 
hey Dan um, <laughs> thank you so much for um, saying hi to me and telling me you watch my videos that that honestly that just made my day that just made my day so we're gonna go drop off this IHOP order and uh, yeah just and turn right on continue East with Brandon our day Boulevard. $17? $17.25? I accepted $9.75. Oh, that's to <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that is... That's my total for two orders that I've done. <laughs> I was thinking that's the total that... Okay. DoorDash is kicking me off. That's their way of saying, you're done. You're done. All right, you guys know how I feel about picking up from Dunkin' Donuts, especially the one I'm at right now. So I waited 20 minutes for an order on Uber Eats, Grubhub, those are the two I have on. And I had one order, but it was taking me so far for like less money. So this one's paying me $6 for only two miles. Um, they're getting eight donuts. So uh, let's hope that they, like there's no problems. If y'all seen any of my videos where I pick up at Dunkin', there's always a problem. But uh, let's see, I don't know. I'm kind of not being as picky today because it's, it's slow. I mean, it's Thursday. And I waited a solid, I think it was longer than 20 minutes actually. So let's go in and see if this order is ready. All right, it's just for donuts. Um, the only issue, they did not like even like close it. I would like for them to tape it up maybe. It's closed. <laughs> All right, I got the order. It is leave at door 1.5 miles away. So smooth pickup at Dunkin', the probably the first one ever. <laughs> all right, all right, I was in traffic. It, ugh, it's getting a lot of traffic lately. My first pickup, this is $9.75 at Moe's. I'm here right now, my first pick up and then let's see if I can look at my my second it is Little Creek it was another seven dollars um yeah so Moe's Little Creek and then two different drop-offs so I'm pretty happy with that payout what sixteen dollars oh, let's go get this first order it was already ready and now I'm heading to Little Greek. I don't think I ever picked up from this place. Why did I wait so long for this order? Oh my gosh. Put it next to this order. Oh my god. Oh, that's like my worst night, not nightmare, but that's like the worst thing that could happen is you have two pickup and one is waiting in your car for nine minutes. I seen them working on it. She's like, this one's yours right here. They're working on it. It's going down the line. And I'm just like, this food's in my car, like getting cold. I mean, it's in my hot bag, but still, it's, you know, it's sitting there for nine extra minutes. Um, But the, what is it? The Moe's is being dropped off first. Uh, two miles away, leave at door. Let's go get them their food. I'm sorry you waited so long. I had an order on the way. That's okay, thank you. You're welcome, Joy. All right, it's not this building. She said she will stand out. On the right side of the parking lot. Right side of the parking lot. All right, this this is not, I mean, this is the building, not the right entrance. All right, I got a Moreno's Bakery order for, it was $8, going, I think, two, two something miles. Um, 
Okay. Okay, before I, yeah. Let me try to get this down. Before I zip up the hot bag, I wanna show you how they gave it to me. Like they know it's an Uber Eats order. It says it big on the paper. I'm getting grandpa orders. Um, but this is how they gave it to me. Like everything is open. I see food, I see a fry. There's no way I could close this. This is how I carry it. So this is how I have to hand it to the customer. You know, wide open, I could see a fry. I could see a fry. Um, so 2.1 miles. Maybe I'll try to see if I could um, tie the handles together. We'll see. And I'll leave that door and they gave me the gate code. All right, if I calculated correctly between what I made today and what I made yesterday between mine and his apps because we rode together, um, I'd be at $96, so not too shabby. Um, I need to go get a car wash, I need to vacuum my car out, and I need to do an oil change. So I'm thinking I'm going to do that. And then pick my kids up from school because uh, my husband's pushed like way out. So he's just going to do his thing. <laughs> I'm going to get the kids and yeah, I think, I think I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.